It's my, one of my favorite parts. Look at that. Completely machined cut. Everything is absolutely perfect. Hi everyone, welcome to GameCraft, the YouTube channel where we take video game characters and bring them to life using an art form known as Papercraft. I'm Mike, the actual Papercraft artist. I take the 3D models from the games and import them into a program where I can design them in Papercraft form. Afterwards, I print them out, laminate them, and I put them through a cutting process, which in today's video, we'll be using an automated cutting machine to assist with that paper craft process. The Silhouette Cameo 4. This machine is brand new. It just recently came out. It replaced the Silhouette Cameo 3, which is a previous version. I did use the Silhouette Cameo 3 previously, and I did really like it. But when I heard that there was a new version coming out, I just had to stay up to date with the hardware and get this one instead. I'm really excited to put it to use, especially with some of the projects that I've been working on recently that are very difficult. This greatly reduces the amount of time that you actually have to cut the paper. Papercraft requires it to be extremely precise and that is very difficult when you're cutting it just with scissors. Today we'll be doing a step-by-step -step process and showing how you can use the Silhouette Cameo 4 to assist with Papercraft. The Cameo 4 has a lot of features and you can use it for a lot of different things. I'm specifically only using it for paper craft and assisting with the models that I make, uh, but it does have a lot of other features. You can cut plenty of other things. You can make decals, you can cut vinyls. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. I, I might try to tinker around with that a little bit later, but uh, the main reason I got this machine is to help me with the paper craft models that I make. The software that I use to design the papercraft models is called Papakura Designer. And the software that I use to convert the files into a format that the silhouette can read is Papakura Viewer for Cameo. All right, so I wanted to do a step-by-step -step process here. Once you've actually designed the model in the Pepecura Designer software, uh, you would load it into the Pepecura Viewer for Silhouette Cameo. And there's a button right here which says registration marks. This is what's going to allow the Silhouette Cameo to read the sheets of paper. Once you have this set up properly, you'll be able to print it. I went ahead and sent the item to the printer. Let me go ahead and get that now. All right, so here's my sheet. As you can see here, here's the registration mark that the machine is going to be reading. Papakura Designer has a help option that says how to cut with Silhouette Cameo. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up here. All right, so how to cut with Papakura Viewer. It basically tells you that the DXF file, which is the file that will export out of the Papakura Viewer, can be imported into Silhouette Studios and it shows you how to set the registration marks. Uh, so if you actually have the software, go to this help page if you have any questions on how to get actually set up to, to, to uh, get it to import properly. I've already done all these steps. So let's go ahead and get into the actual software from Silhouette Studios. So this is the software. I've already exported the DXF file. I'm going to go ahead and load it in here. All right, so here it is. All right, so right here, you'll see where it says open the setup panel. This is where you would set everything up to make sure that you have all of your settings correctly. You would go to registration marks right here. I'm gonna turn the registration mark on. 
and you can see it's now put the registration mark here. Now the type of registration mark that the Silhouette Cameo reads off of the Peppercore Designer is inverted, so you would select inverted. And this page on the mat is how you would actually put it in. All right, so uh, if you've seen my papercraft videos before, you'll know that I always like to laminate my paper before I cut it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly laminate this sheet of paper that I have here. And then once I get it lam fully laminated, uh, I'll come right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, awesome, I got this completely laminated now. So uh, what I do here to laminate it, it's pretty simple. I just use uh, tape, actually just clear packing tape like this. This uh, clear packing tape is, is amazing. Um, it's thicker than the usual, or it's the, the actual width of it is a lot wider. And to be honest, I think it's a lot better than using actual lamination sheets because first of all, it's cheaper and it's easier to apply. After that, I have this uh, scraper that came with the silhouette and I just uh, scrape it to make sure that there's no bubbles. These blue lines and black lines and red lines are where the cuts are going to be. This mat is how you want to be placing the paper on the mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and send my job to the machine. I'm gonna click send over here, the send tab. For the Peppercura designer, you wanna use line cut, which is right here. So you'll have green lines, you'll have blue lines, red lines, and black lines. Uh, black lines are the outlines, and red is going to be folds, and blue is going to be folds. Um, we, we don't usually use green, that's really only for the registration mark, as far as Peppercura designer is concerned. Uh, first thing I'm going to do here is select my device, and I have it on Bluetooth right now. So I'm going to select the Bluetooth, it's going to connect via Bluetooth. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the sheet. So let me go ahead and uh, do that real quick. This right, this uh, sheet right here is going to be um, protecting the adhesive that's on this. So you can't have it under the corner, you have to actually have it overlapping the corner, which I'm gonna put it up in the camera in just a second here after I line this up. Let me try to get it a little closer here. So this right here, you have to make sure that the corner is actually going over the side of the grid. So for example, let me show you the side of the grid. So you can see how there's an edge on that. You have to make sure that the corner of the paper is actually going above that edge. If it's going under the edge or it's within this inside of the edge, the registration mark will not be read. All right, so let me go ahead and insert this into the machine. Everything is connected. I have to do the job details afterwards before I actually send it. So there's a button right here which is allowing you to input the sheet. All right. The blue lines are scoring because it's only a fold. We're not actually cutting it. I actually have some presets here. I'm going to add uh, the presets, cutting options. And right here you can see it says score. Um, don't actually cut it, it'll just put an indentation into it, that way I can fold it easier. For the red lines, I'm going to select scoring as well with my presets. The preset I have here is one. This is cardstock, by the way. Cardstock is, I find that one is the best type of score. The force, I'm actually gonna turn this up a little bit. I found that using about seven or eight, let's, let's, let's use eight. And this, we're gonna put the force up to eight. All right, that looks good. All right, so the black line here is the actual border, the outside border. So we're, we are going to select a cut for this. Uh, I find with cardstock, it's best to do more than one pass on it, just to make sure that it cuts all the way through. So I'm actually gonna put three passes on it. You know, I'm gonna do four passes actually. That way I just wanna be, make sure that it cuts all the way through. 
and um, let me crank up the speed a little bit. Now the Cameo 3 can only do speed of 10. This has the ability to do a speed of 30. So I'm gonna crank it up all the way and just, just see how quickly it can get through. The scoring I put down to 25, I don't wanna do that too fast. Yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, so here's my settings. I'm just gonna go over this one more time. The blue one is scoring, the red one is scoring, the black one is cutting with a uh, indentation of the blade size of eight, force is 25, and I'm doing four passes on it. So if we're ready, I'm gonna go ahead and send it to the machine. I'm gonna click the send button right here. It's reading the registration mark. It's also reading the corner registration marks. And this is the cool part right here. Check this out. It's going to to uh, do the job here. It knows exactly where to cut. And this might take a minute. So we'll just do a little commentary here while we're waiting. Let me try to move the microphone away from the, uh, the actual device head that it is kind of kind of noisy. Now it is, however, a little bit more quiet than the Silhouette Cameo number three, which is the previous version. I used the Cameo three a couple times uh, for a couple jobs, and I thought it was awesome. And um, I decided that since the Cameo four was coming out, that I would get this one instead. So by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please make sure that you do subscribe. It definitely will help me out. Um, I do papercraft models and I, I like to do showcase videos. And I also like to do update videos of the things and projects that I'm working on. Uh, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It would really appreciate it if you followed those, uh, those pages and shared them. If you want to see more of my artwork, uh, I actually do have a uh, DeviantArt page as well. Just look up GameCraft there. I just started that just recently. All right, so it looks like that it's actually going into the cutting now with a speed of 30. waiting for that to finish up let me go ahead and show you the model here this thing is a lot more complicated than the other models that I've worked on previously it took me a long time to get the texture just just right to for the um, for the ink that I have in my printer. It kept printing out pretty dark, so I had to lighten it up quite a bit. After I was able to lighten it up and change the contrast on it, um, the print came out really, really good. It, it came out very, very similar to how the game looks. So I think that I perfected it. This is gonna take a long time to do. Uh, I have a total of uh, eight pages. So I, this is gonna be one of the pages here that I'm working on. This is taking quite a bit longer uh, because I did four passes on it, but that's just gonna ensure the quality of it.
keep in mind this is the fastest setting. I put it all the way up to 30. So it is going as fast as it can right now. This is a very complex model. So it has a lot of different um, cuts that it has to make here. And it looks like it's done. Awesome. So that took about three or four minutes, right? This saves you a ton of time. I, I couldn't imagine having to cut all this stuff out by myself with scissors. That, that would totally suck. Um, so it, it scores it so all the folds are pretty much already indented. The, the folds are already, already good for you to do. The outline is cut. And so let's go ahead and uh, peel this back and see what it looks like. This is one of my favorite parts. Look at that. And had I not done four passes, there is a possibility that it wouldn't have cut all the way through for some of that stuff. But look at that, everything is, it's like a, it, completely machined cut. Everything is absolutely perfect. Well, so that's trash. And all we have are the pieces left. Let's go ahead and take a look at the development on Papa Curry real quick. So I'm gonna zoom into page two. This is the one that I printed just now. And I got this upside down. Check that out. So it, it came out really good. I, I see that there doesn't look like there's any errors at all in the cutting of this. So it looks like that we did a, a fantastic job with that. So I guess I'll be posting some updates in the future once I actually start gluing this thing together. Um, it does take quite a bit of time for me to, to fold this up and, and glue it together the way that I um, the way that I do it I, I'm kind of a perfectionist so I really just take take my sweet time and uh, make sure that I, I do everything um, perfect so after you get everything peeled off of the board here you definitely want to make sure that you keep this adhesive um, mat protected and put the cover back over it so I'm going to go ahead and do that now after I peel this up. I have all my pieces off. Go ahead and lay this back over. All right. So that's that's one page down. <laughs> I'll just have to do the rest of them. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a, a like, thumbs up. If you're looking for the Cameo 4 and you're considering buying one for Papercraft, I would highly recommend this one. Now the Silhouette Cameo 3 is significantly less, but it doesn't have a, as many features. I really wanted the most up-to-date version. I like to stay up-to-date with, with stuff, so I wanted to make sure that I got the current version. I hope this video helps you out if you're thinking about getting this or if you have questions on how to how to get this to work with your Pepecura viewer. Feel free to shoot me a question. Just keep in mind that I'm not an expert on the Cameo. I, I just happen to know how to get this stuff to work. Leave a comment in the YouTube video below if you want to see more models or tell me which models that you want me to make next. I appreciate everyone stopping by and visiting the channel. Thanks again for watching GameCrafts. Help us bring games to life.